Hi guys, we will solve the lab password reset poisoning via dangling markup. The level of this lab is expert and the goal is to log in into Carlos account. We use our default credentials Wiener and the password Peter. Okay, let us access the lab. First we open the login page and here we click on the link forgot password. We put our username Wiener and submit it. Now we go to the exploit server and here we open the email client. This email is a new one <laughs> and you see here is the password for our user Wiener. Copy this one and open the login page again. Put in Wiener and the password which we received from the email and log in. Okay, now we switch to the HTTP history in Burp and here we look for a get request to the endpoint email. In the response tab, scroll down to the end of the response, you see a JavaScript snippet which uses the library DOM Purify. This library is a is a XSS sanitizer for HTML, SVG and MassML content and it is developed and maintained by Q53. You can look at the GitHub repository to find more information about DOM Purify. Okay, now we will open the exploit server and the email client. Here you see you have an option named view raw and we click on it and it seems that this content is not sanitized in any way. Close this one. Okay, now we switch to the HTTP history in Burp and we look for a post request to our endpoint or to the endpoint forgot minus password. Here we will replace the host header value x. No, we will send it to repeater first. Okay, and here replace it with a x a b c d one two three four. Send the request. And you see we received an HTTP 504 gateway timeout. Now we will replace with the original address and we will use a port, maybe hacker, and send it again. You see we received an HTTP 200 OK. Back to our email client, we refresh the browser window and you see we received a new mail. We will open the view raw option and here you see that our port is within an HTML tag. Okay, now we change the port number HTML AREF tag okay. and here we will use the address of our exploit server copy the address of course without slash and exploit two slashes insert or paste it. Okay, so slash and question mark. Send the request again. Open your email client and you see we received a new email with less content as the other email. Okay back to the exploit server and here 
open the access log and we look for get request from a different IP. Here, this one looks nice and here you see the missing parts of our email. Okay, here. Let's see, here's the password. Back to our verb repeater, we change the username from Wiener to Carlos and send the request again. Refresh the browser window and we should receive a new request, a get request from a different mail. This one looks nice. The password here, copy the password. Go to the login page, Carlos, and insert the password and you see we solved the lab 